What's going on, everybody? Uh, this video is going to be over my Stamina Nightblade build for Vatrans Hollow. Um, this is just something that I kind of came up with just because I wanted to do it on Stamina. Uh, somebody had mentioned it in stream. was like, yo, do it on Stamina Nightblade. I want to see it done. Blah, blah, blah. Whatever. Uh, I don't know why they chose me for that because <laughs> there's definitely better DPS out there, but... Uh, this is the build that I came up with. Ended up getting trifecta on like the second or the third run with this guy, even though I haven't played Stam in a long time. Uh, so, yeah, let's go ahead and go into. Let's go ahead and buff up just with our pots. Um, Spirit Slayer is the title you get for trifecta. Go ahead, Orc Nightblade. We have 15 in the health, 49 in the stamina. Uh, with our gear setup and the food that we're running, 15 in the health gives us that 16k. We have two jewelries in robust. That's why it's, that's why we have 32k. We have one in bloodthirsty. Um, the food and the, the food and the pot ends up getting us uh, 1800 recovery, 3300 weapon damage, and four, 54 percent crit. Our spell pen is at 10k. That comes with that comes from two things. Uh, mainly from the sharpened two-hander that we have on and then from crags the one-piece monster set that we have on The monster set is a shadow and lava foot is the food we're running uh, The other food that you can run is our tam takeaway broth. That's gonna put you at about 28k stam 29k stam and 20k health. I'm not gonna take it because it's expensive food uh, and I don't really feel like buying anymore. And I can't make it right now because uh, I don't know. I think you need perfect row for it. Anyways, let's get right into the gear that we're running. <clears throat> we are running one piece crags, which gives us that, which is going to help out with that 10k pin that we have. Which, uh, as you guys know, if you don't know, you have 1487 physical pin. That's what it adds. Uh, everything in here is medium armor. Everything except for one piece all has stamina enchants on as well. Chest piece is the only thing that doesn't. Which brings us into our first five piece set. VO. Uh, this comes from any Craglorn trial. Just pop in there. Go to Craglorn, Pelkarth, whatever go there there's tons of people always running like normal trials all the time um so you can just hop in there or start it yourself you know and uh, get these pieces here um not 100 percent needed but if you're looking for a pretty easy time vo's definitely the way to go this reduces the cost of your stamina abilities by eight percent and then whenever you kill an enemy or one that you recently damaged, which if you're going to be the only one in the arena, you're going to be the only one that damages it. Uh, you'll get 2454 stamina and gain a major expedition for eight seconds. So it's not too bad. Um, it affects once every second. So as long as you kill something, you know, once every second or once every couple seconds, you'll be fine. We are running this all on body. So we have a uh, chest belt uh boots legs and then shoulder piece uh all stamina enchants except for the chest piece again chest piece is healthy that's why we're at 16k health the second piece we're running is briarheart this, this comes from uh rothgar if you don't have it you can easily buy it from guild traders it is going to be on the pricey side it's just because it's annoying as hell to get uh but just keep in mind that it's going to be a little bit pricey especially the weapons what this set does is uh I, again i only read the five piece set because everything else is irrelevant to an extent uh the five piece is what makes or breaks the set you know the five piece set if the last five piece set is really bad you're probably not going to run it so um, the fifth piece when you deal critical damage you increase your weapon damage by 450 for 10 seconds and while you have um, This active you're gonna heal um, 
Get a new critical strike heals you for 359 health. This can occur once every 15 seconds. Um, so roughly you have about five second downtime. So it's not it's not too bad. This pumps your, your critical up or your weapon critical up pretty pretty good. Then when you have a pot up, you're sitting at 54 or 52%. We'll take another pot. At 54%. So pretty good. And you should be critting quite a lot, especially with the, the dots that you have. Um, as far as the jewelry go, we have uh, two Briarheart. They are gold. The reason they're gold is because I got them from the guild, tr or not the guild trader, the um, the golden vendor. When he came a long time ago during mid-year mayhem, uh, I ended up picking up Briarheart. Even though it wasn't that popular back then, uh, I just picked up a lot of the good pieces like Abin and this piece and uh, just a bunch of other pieces so it definitely pays off to do some PvP during Mayhem, Mid-Year Mayhem or any time a double AP event comes up because you never know what kind of equipment you can get so I ended up picking up these two I think I end up having I think I have how to spell Briarheart I think I have another yeah I end up having another one too yeah, and I knew I, I kind of figured I picked up a full set. <clears throat> but yeah, definitely was worth it. Uh, enchants are weapon damage and robust for jewelry. Uh, the Ring of Pale Order. This is something that came with Markar or Markarth with the solo arena. It's not 100% needed at all. It's definitely not. People swear up and down that this is so OP. It actually really is OP, um, but it's something you don't 100% need. You really don't need this to complete it, but I'm telling you right now, you might as well get it and use it now while you can before it gets nerfed. <laughs> I'm just throwing that out there. It, it is really good. Um, the only downside to it is stuff like uh, in trials and dungeons and stuff like that if you're not doing enough damage you're not going to get healed and this is absolutely useless in solo arenas it's really good only for a simple fact that you don't have to worry too much about healing yourself as your damage is healing you but the downside to having the ring on is you take away a monster set um also this does make things a lot easier when you're in the arena. So I 100% think everybody should get this if they decide to go into the arena. Only because it makes things a lot easier. Just a ridiculous amount easier. As long as you have dots down and damage going, you should be fine. Uh, I kept mine bloodthirsty. Um just because I, I don't really I don't really care too much about trying to change any of this stuff and min max everything like put everything in bloodthirsty or everything infused or anything like that I, I don't really care I just want to make my time in the solo arena as easy as possible and this setup has done it so that's why I run what I'm running two-handers Briarheart two-hander sharpened we are running the poisons here they're just the crown poisons you get free from this um, stupid daily thing. Uh, well, that starts soon. Uh, but that's all it is. Um, the these I'm I'm so glad that these are actually like pretty good. Those along with the, the actual poisons you get or the the tristat pots you get too are actually really good. These ones here they're they're really good too. Definitely want to stack up on those if you can. But yeah, running these poisons as well. Backfire, we have the Maelstrom. You can run Perfected or not. doesn't actually matter at all. Uh, just as long as you have Infused, keep that weapon damage in chat going. Uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, I guess I can go over skills here. Just kind of run through on the skills. Uh, here's what I do have. So I have two different setups. This one setup is before the red orb. So after the second portal phase. So the portal phase for stamina that you want to run first is going to be blue portal, red portal, and then finish with the green portal. 
The reason why is because the blue portal opens up so you can get the health enchant or the health orbs from the red portal. The red portal allows you to hit the um, the uh, circle run on lava thing on the green portal. And so when you finish with the green portal, you go to the boss with max health and max uh, stam. A shit ton of stam, shit ton of uh, health. And then if you're watching this and you're just like, oh, that's cool. Uh, to do mag, you want to do green portal first. Green portal opens up the grappling, uh, which will let you do the side part on the blue portal, which will open up the health as well. So do... If you want to do stam, do blue, red, green, and then for magicka, it's uh, green, blue, red. Uh, to get the to get the orbs to help you out. So I have two different setups again. Uh, before the red orbs, so once I have the red orbs, or before I have the red orbs, vigor is my main heal, uh, along with this one when I get in trouble. After I pick up the red orb, the only thing I have healing me is Dark Cloak and Briarheart and Dark Cloak kills for a ridiculous amount. So uh, Pale Order Ring heals for the top the most, the absolute most. But uh, between Briarheart, Pale Order and Dark Cloak, you're, like, you're, you're healing quite a bit. And again, and leeching as well. But that, that's how I have my two set up. So I'll show you the one that has uh vigor on it and we'll talk about the cow chops okay so uh here's where we go the spammable single target or just spammable in general i i use a surprise attack i did use wrecking blow i tried brawler i did power extraction uh, i could tell you right now you 100 percent with this build do not need brawler it's a waste a wasted slot i think in my opinion Unless you just like the skill, then then use it. But you you should not need it, not with the setup. And I'll show you again at the end of this video. There's a five minute, four minute clip of me doing the last boss in the arena, uh, and you'll see that you you don't need this. Uh, Wrecking Blow is nice. It does pretty good damage, but I personally just enjoy surprise attack more. So it's it's kind of preference. Uh, again, when it comes to uh, solar arena stuff obviously there's a meta uh the this gear with this setup and all this stuff is like you know mathematically it's the best but when it comes down to doing decent damage and consistency it comes down to preference and what you're more comfortable doing if you suck at weaving wrecking blow then run surprise attack if you if you hate surprise attack run wrecking blow if you hate both of those run brawler and be a freaking troll i guess i don't know like brawler is 100% not needed and, and with this setup you just have too much healing that you don't need this um but surprise attacks nice does a decent amount of damage uh 8000 physical damage again this is just a tool tip everything hits a little bit harder than the actual tool tip uh or it could be a, you know uh yeah okay so Dark Cloak, uh, I was going to say something else, but I just decided not to. Um, the tool, the tool tip is just there to kind of like guide you in a direction that, you know, tool tip says like 8,600 and naturally, like when I go to hit uh, uh, targets, uh, I end up hitting a little bit harder. So just, just FYI. Uh, Dark Cloak, I know it says uh, nine, 900, but when you actually hit it, it's obviously healing for more 1700 is the uh is the crit a thousand is what i'm actually getting killed for so this kind of idea this just to kind of let you guys know that like just because it says what it says on the tooltip doesn't actually mean what's going on uh once you get more health you'll end up healing for like 2k or 2200 2400 maybe upwards is 2700 depending on uh, how much health you're using so uh again i only use this for like oh shit moments like when i'm going up a boss and i know i'm gonna ha have to use it with the, the minotaur boss because that's going to be the last boss that we go to and the last arena we go to so i 100 percent keeping this up um the last boss i try to keep this up quite a bit and 
I do end up using this on the last um, boss in the red portal as well. Uh, power extraction. I do use power extraction in trash bowls. And the only reason why is because it does AOE damage. And it's actually pretty good for AOE damage. I know it says 6k. But when I start critting and stuff, like you're hitting 15, sometimes upwards of like 20k every time you hit this. So it's pretty it can be pretty disgusting uh the next one we're using relentless focus this is just your bow proc just keep this up as much as possible uh, it has a 60 second cooldown so you should be able to get quite a bit of bow, bow procs off um yeah so just try to keep that up this actually does heal you as well i don't know if what people know that but uh when you hit somebody with a bow you you get healed for so much of the damage so since you're more than likely going to be in melee range, you know, I don't really have to read the rest of that, but anyways, uh, reverse slice, another really good skill. Um, so you end up having two AOEs here. So you do power extraction for ad pulls up until they get a little bit low. Uh, and then you could do reverse slice on that low ad, which will then in turn lower the enemies around you even lower. So pretty, pretty good combination right here. I did end up using Executioner as well, and I ended up using uh, Killer's Blade. I can tell you right now, Killer's Blade was nice, but it, it just wasn't enough. And Executioner was great too for single target burns, but it just wasn't that good in ad pulls, and that's why I have Reverse Slice here. Uh, Soul Harvest, uh, the only reason I use this is for the very last part. While slotted, enemy, anytime you kill an enemy, you gain 10 ultimate. Um, there, there's quite a few times that you'll face a boss that have adds. So if you just quickly go kill an ad, bam, you get 10 ultimate. Then what's ever on your back bar, you can just pop that, that ultimate on your back bar. Uh, the only time I've ever hit this is... Um, hmm... Usually when I'm just kind of like in a panic mode where I just kind of want to do a little bit more extra damage, get them a little bit lower. Excuse me, so I can start executing them or something like that, then I'll pop this. Um, but I, I try to never ever pop this. All right, back bar. We're looking at Mark, uh, Reaper's Mark. Now, this is a really, really, really OP skill along with Dark Cloak. Is that, <coughs> excuse me, whenever you cast this on an enemy... It lasts for a very long time. Time. Time? Time? Uh, it lasts for a long time. It's 20 seconds. So it's pretty uh, It's pretty ridiculous. Now, we're not worrying too much about the front or the first paragraph too much. Uh, the only reason why I'm using this is for the major berserk that you get after you kill an enemy. And you get a nice little heal. I know it says 10k. But when you're in a fight, you're all buffed up and stuff like that. You're looking at like 15k, 17k um, is what you're going to get healed for. So I like to put this on a target that's about to die or halfway, almost dead or whatever. I'll put this on and then just swap bars, quickly execute them, execute them. And then I, boom, I get like a, a nice little major berserk there and I get a decent heal. So it's really good. Um... Next skill, we're going to do Endless Hail. Endless Hail is just kind of like, um, you know, it obviously goes with the Maelstrom Bow. Use Endless Hail. If you know what the Maelstrom Bow is, I don't really I don't really feel like I should go into that. But Endless Hail is really good. Keeps your enchant going. Berserker enchant. Um, Barb Trap. Just, just really good. Has a really good dot on it. And plus it gives you minor force. So just kind of keep this down. Um, you, you don't really want to have this run out. Just a really good buff that you want. Legion Strikes. Uh, this is just kind of going to help you with sustain and healing a little bit. So as long as you're light attack weaving or heavy attacking, you're going to get healed and you're going to get stand back as long as Leeching Strikes is up. And what people mean by as it's up is when you have the when you have the buff. So uh, as long as you have Leeching Strikes up. Uh, you should be good. Light attack, heavy attack, bam! You're getting you're getting ha uh, health and stand back. It's pretty disgusting. Uh, and then once the effect ends, you're gonna get a bar a burst of 4,200 stamina. So it's really nice. 
Uh, we again we do use resolving vigor up until we are done with the red portal or we have all five red orbs then we just immediately swap it off and throw cow chops there now i know that reaper's march does physical or major breach but so does razor cow chops uh, again the only reason i'm using this is for the major berserk and the heal so i apply this to an ad that's about to die bam get the buff this in turn hits every ad around me so that means when i throw cow chops down and there's a bunch of ads around me bam power extraction um you know i'm doing aoe damage on top of doing aoe damage with cow chops uh and it's also hitting them with major breach so reducing their reducing their resistance along with you know doing a lot of aoe damage here uh but yeah so uh if you feel like you can't do this without resolving vigor then just keep it on and it should be fine but i highly recommend once you get the five red orbs throw on raise a cow trap she should be good uh and then for our ultimate i do use ballista and the only reason why is because that's a crap ton of damage over a very short time uh and especially how cheap the ultimate is it's 175 so siphoning you gain 20 ultimate whenever you take a pot uh where's the other one i think it's shadow no it can't be shadow i think it actually is still siphoning yeah it's still siphoning i don't know why i thought it was shadow but siphoning, whenever you hit a, a siphoning ability uh, in combat, you generate two ultimate. It happens once every four seconds. I know a lot of people don't really uh, pay attention to this, but if you, you know, if you're Mag Nightblade, you're spamming this ability, you're obviously going to keep it up. Um, but if you're not hurting with sustain at all, you can hit this ability every every few seconds or so, and then you can keep that ulti going. Uh, and then also here, if you're killing ads, you're gaining ultimate here as well. So just killing an ad, taking a pot, and then hitting a siphoning ability, you're looking at 22 ultimate just very quickly. And that's, you know, it's not far off from 175. So uh, some other ultimates that you could use. Uh, I mean, I guess you could use, you know, Dawnbreaker if you wanted to. Uh, but there's the thing is, is with this one, there's not a. I mean, you could use the other morph of Soul Harvest and do the stamina one and then hit that. Uh, but I, I just like to get more ultimate when I kill enemies. But it's totally up to you, whichever one you want to use. All right, that's. Uh, let's do over CP now again I'm not uh, I'm not a DPS sweaty person uh, so if you have a better CP setup then then use it but I'm just kind of going over what I have set up so I got 31 into break free three in the sprinter I don't actually sprint that much believe it or not like I sprint in certain situations but not a whole lot uh, I have 30 wanted to break free is because uh, I was having a lot of issues where I would get CC'd in certain ways and just being able to break free and not have to cost me a whole bunch was really nice. Got 64 in tenacity and the only reason why I got so much into it is because I haven't played DPS in a while so getting that heavy attack in uh, and getting quite a bit of resources back was really nice when when if I, if I got super low and there was a few times I did and I don't know why I have a shit ton of the mag recovery. Uh, you want to throw into like, <coughs> excuse me, about a hundred or seventy five in the moon calf and you should be fine. I put seventy two into dodge roll just because I do dodge roll quite a bit as a DPS. I don't know why I think it's just something that I do because I, I it's a perfect way to avoid damage so and plus it doesn't cost a bunch of stamina when I do it so that's why I've that's why I've said much, so much into there if you don't dodge roll a lot then you can put your points over somewhere else uh not into the healing I was gonna put some into blast but I decided not to got 61 into mastered arms uh, 26 in the thumb, 72 precise strikes, 36 into uh, precise or piercing, excuse me, 
And then we have 75 into Mighty. Again, this isn't like super optimal. Uh, you could obviously lower uh, Mighty and Precise Strikes, probably, probably put some of those into Blast. H however you see it, or whatever. Uh, I'm not a super amazing DPS anyway, so. Uh, 81 and Ironclad, just because of some direct damage that, that does come, I want to have that reduced. Uh, 19 in the Spell Shield, 49 to Ellie and Hardy, 40 in the Thick Skin, and we got 32 in the Quick Recovery. Just kind of help out that, that healing a little bit. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Other than that, yeah, appreciate it. Um, stay tuned. I'm going to show you that clip of me getting trifecta of the trifecta It'll just be the last boss you guys can skip it or whatever it's totally up to you guys just kind of show you how um how i did that last boss all right you guys have a good one thanks for watching we'll see you in the next video all right let's reapply our buffs there we go We should be getting an ad right now. I'm going to come over here and kill this ad. Mainly because he does quite a bit of damage. We're going to save our ultimate too, uh, for the ad and the next. Okay, I'm not gonna get it. Oh, he should be moving. It's weird that he's not moving yet. There he goes. I could probably get it, but I want to be safe and sorry. All right, let me show you how to do this on Stam.
All right, now that that's done. Just go back when he starts doing that shit. Reapply your stuff. Keep your heels up. And then just execute it here. Alright, we're just gonna go and kill this dude. Should be getting the Minotaur soon. And there he is. There we go. Hey, we did it! We did it! <laughs> Oh, and we got the sword and board. Well done. Cool. Well, we got spirit slayer. Yay.